Hey, what's happening, spectacular spider friends? Welcome back to Spider-Man on the PS4. And today, we are going to do the original Black Cat paintings Ooh. from that uh, police officer, Mackie, or I don't know, some old cop who wants us to track down these uh, alleged missing paintings. Well, they're not alleged. We, we found, like, two of them already. Mickey, but... Mackie... <laughs> I don't know. Mickey the Maxter. This is a, a fun little side quest, and we are rocking the so-so resilient suit, which is part of the City That Never Sleeps, the Heist DLC. Yay! Which uh, released on October 19th? No, 23rd. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm all there. I'm, I'm right there with you guys now. Oh, yeah. Mostly. I have to admit, it is cool how the violins, like, music always starts up just when you start web slinging. Well, they did that on purpose so that the music would follow what Spidey is doing to make the player feel like they're almost conducting the orchestra. It's a pretty cool feature. Yeah, it is. It kind of feels like you're in a movie. This is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man movies of all time. Like, the, the story for this game, it's really heavily fighting uh, Spider-Man 2 in my mind, like, as the best Spider-Man movie. Whoa. Yeah. Available officers. Car bombing? I don't know. Should, be around here somewhere. should I deal with the car bombing or should I go after the missing painting? I'm conflicted! Uh, let's just go after the missing here. pages. Yeah, they will, they'll be fine, probably. They'll be fine. Yeah. Another painting. Ta-da! Detective, I found another stolen art piece. Sending coordinates your way. Nice work. So you've met the new black cat, right? Why? You working that case too? Nah, no, just curious. What's she like? Complicated. Frustrating. She's manipulative, but she's also got a good heart. She only robs folks who can afford it, or who she thinks deserve it. And she gave you the slip, huh? More than once. I can honestly say I've never met anyone quite like her. I know the feeling. I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Why would he be concerned with... Man, this does not feel like that's really a police officer. What? Really? I don't know. I mean, if, if things get too personal, like if he asks about Spider-Man's dating history, then okay, I'll be like, yeah, that is Black Cat's dad. Yeah, but... like how much money do you make, uh, Peter? Or, I mean, Spider-Man? But what I'm thinking... <laughs> I mean, I don't and like the fact that... Did? Spider-Man isn't bringing these paintings to the officer, he could be on the take. Like, he's not really um, known well with his department, and he talks about retirement, and, you know, he can't really get a lot of stuff done anymore, so maybe he is going after the original Black Cat's painting so he can have a cushy retirement. Because he hasn't sent any person in blue to pick that stuff up. He's Spider-Man is just giving him the location. So, I mean... He could easily walk there and pick up the art himself. Uh, yeah. That's happened in like a movie that, before. Oh, yeah, like a mad, 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 mad world. Yes, exactly. <laughs> a police officer who was retiring at the end, and he just walked in and picked up the uh, suitcase full of money and was like, okay, you guys. He's like, I'll take it from here. And then he just took it. And he was like, just, he, he didn't even turn it into the police station. He was just retiring with it. Sorry, Zelda was doing something. Yeah, that's that's an excellent point there, Ams. I, I could really see that happening as well. Um, well, I mean, I it's thought... It's possible. Well, you were the one who was telling me at first that you thought there was something up with that police officer. Here. He seems fishy, but not in the kind of, like... Uh, it, it would be too predictable. It would be way too predictable to make her Black Hat's dad. It's a nice little twist if it's you know, a cop that's on the take, because they didn't really do that in the story. All the police yeah. that Spider-Man has worked with, aside from the dudes at the very beginning of the Kingpin mission that were on the take, the SWAT officers. Yeah. Every other officer that Spider-Man has interacted with in this game has been a good guy. What I like about this police officer, though, is 
if he is a police officer. <laughs> he's got a great smile. He just seems like a sweet old man. So it's like, he, whether he's a criminal or not, I, I kind of like him. Like, he seems nice. <laughs> like, okay. it would be, if he was a criminal, he'd be like Sarah's dad and Chuck. Ah, oh, the con man. <laughs> yeah, I remember him. That was Where, a great actor. Yeah, he actually took... He loved Sarah. He took good care of her, but he was a con man. If you guys don't know what uh, we're talking about, there was a show on NBC called Chuck starring Shazam, Zachary Levi, uh, who also you guys might know from Tangled and Kingdom Hearts 3 as the voice of uh, Flynn. Is that yeah. Flynn Rider? Flynn Rider. I, I, I think so. Yeah, and um, in this show, basically... Um, the love interest, Sarah, sh her dad kind of drove her nuts and ended up going to jail and stuff, and you think he's a bad guy, and then you meet him, and you realize he's this super kind of, like, cavalier, like, he oh, doesn't- there it is. He doesn't really worry about stuff, he's always, like, kind of winging it. Here. Okay. There. He's just a super fun guy. How much this painting is worth? Detective, I found another painting. Good work. We should get you a badge. I'll have Spider Cop. So in your professional opinion, is the new cat similar to the old one? Well, she's clearly modeling herself after Hardy. Her style, technique. Hell, her grapple looks like an updated version of his old tech. Right. You guys had her equipment in lockup for a while. So she steals intellectual property, too. More like improves on it. She's elevated Hardy's work to a whole new level. Almost sounds like you admire her do this long enough, you can't help noticing real talent. Kind of sounds like you think highly of her, too. Oh, well, you know, it's what you said. Game recognizes game. I'll let you know if I find any more loot. Okay. It's interesting conversation. So... Okay. I, I don't know. I'm on the fence now. I'm trying to picture the awkwardness that it would be like in the future when Mary Jane and Peter get married and Black Cat comes over as a family friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully they do get married in this universe because everybody would want Mayday Parker. Mayday is a great character. And I believe uh, she's showing up again in the current Spider-Man comic Spider-Geddon, which is another Spider-Verse story where the inheritors or whatever they're called the weird vampire creatures come back uh, all thanks to the efforts of the superior spider-man doc ock using their cloning technology and everything goes awry again so i mean basically it's marvel's excuse to kill off characters they don't like and uh tick off their fan base even more and uh That's just have another spider-man war it feels like marvel really likes ticking off their fan base for fun Kind of like I'm, what DC does with Nightwing. Yeah, it's true. They just, they don't if like the Spider-Man to be happy. Out, they should be stunt drivers. Yeah, I never understand why comic book writers take a beloved hero and mess with them. It's so they can try to sell books, but a lot of people have started voting with their pocketbooks, so when they pull these insane stunts, they don't make out that much with money anymore because people are like, you know what, we're going to sit on our wallet and not buy this book until, you know, six months from now when they get their act together. And with DC, it works. They get the message. Marvel just keeps chunning out, like, tons of garbage. And it doesn't really matter yeah. because they have Disney supporting them, so they don't really care about their fans. Yeah. But DC, they are seriously impacted when people don't buy their books. Yeah, they need people to buy them. The Nightwing books took a huge hit after their stunt with what happened with KGB Beast. So I don't think he's going to be going by Rick Grayson for very long. I see it lasting until January, and then they're gonna do like, where Nightwing just comes back. It's yeah. not gonna pan out for them. You know what I don't understand about Marvel though, is like, um, you know, Disney Infinity was gotten rid of by Disney because it wasn't, quote, making enough money for them. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand when Marvel loses money. Is around here. Why doesn't Disney care? Must be in here. They don't really interfere too much with the comic books. They only, uh, they heavily interfere with the animation, which hasn't really worked out well for them. The current Spider-Man cartoon show is a bust. Um, it has terrible ratings and it's just doing really bad. Fans hate it. Oh. But the movies are making the money. Detective, I'm sending coordinates your way. Another one of Hardy's old paintings. 
Thanks for that. I'll send someone ASAP. Sure you Why will. the old cat try to escape Rikers? Nonviolent burglary. He had a shot at parole. Party got too big for his britches. The Magia wanted him to work for them. He said no. That got him on their hit list. Not a list you want to be on. Especially if you have a family. The Magia will target anyone to make their point. I've noticed. Oh my gosh. I'll be in touch, Detective. What? What? What does that mean? Like, how would he know that that was why Black Cat didn't do that? Because of family. You really think that it's Felicia's dad, don't you? I don't know. You're the one who put the idea into my head. I did? I don't remember. We've been doing so many games that I can't keep, like, a clear uh, grip on what I'm talking about. I thought you were talking to me about it uh, uh, between episodes or something. I can't remember. Uh, maybe during a Lego thing, but I, I thought that was your idea. I still think he's an officer on the take. Oh. I mean, right now, it, it really feels like because Hardy's gone and he's retiring, it'd be very easily for him to, you know, get the stuff and just disappear. Because they've already closed the case on this guy. I mean, it's it's free art at this point. Yeah, yeah you can give it back to people, but the statute of limitations is over. You know, stolen yeah, goods can... after a certain point, it's done. How convenient. Exactly. All right, so where where exactly is a stolen painting now? Uh, okay. Oh, I'm walking here. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, no, I do think it. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say, yeah, I would guess it was Felicia's dad because... Um, because otherwise, why would he emphasize the reason why Black Cat did that? Like, he was saying, oh, well, I heard he got hit by a... It was like he was defending himself right there. He got hit by the mob and, this you know, had no choice because sometimes they can threaten family. Hardy sure found some clever hiding places. He was one hell of a second story man. Obviously. So how'd you catch him? I'd like to say solid police work, but the more I look at it, the more I think he let himself get caught. To get away from the Magia? He must have known they could get to him in prison. Sure, but the best way to protect his daughter was to take himself off the board. And it ended up being more permanent than he planned. Don't you remember that movie with um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks? The Catch. cop who was chasing him? like grew to really understand his methods and yeah. all catch, this other stuff catch Th me if you can right this detective guy his probably entire career revolved around tracking the black cat oh yeah you're right yeah that's possible but at the same time based on what his situation is and how the precinct doesn't pay attention to him I you know oh it's like pages. he's showing his God, knowledge about no black cat equipment. that nobody's ever paid attention to and they haven't really opened up the case to get the stolen loot back after a certain point they were just kind of like oh we can't really find it how am i gonna get in there yeah like he's kind of like showing his knowledge about it like because Attention nobody's unit, ever paid attention to him mm -hmm. and this would make him a hero too yeah. if he was able to recover all this art you yeah. know he would go down in the history books, and all that precious art would be returned to their uh, another painting owners. Yeah. Congratulations, detective! You might be the winner of some of Walter Hardy's stolen loot. Listen, no offense, but I've been looking into case files. Some witnesses say you and the new black cat were seen working together. What's up with that? She said she wanted to go straight, and I believed her. I tried to train her, and she did a lot of good for a while. Unfortunately, old habits die hard. I got a tip she was stealing from the crooks we took down. Went to her place and found the loot. You knew where she lived? Was this professional or uh, was something else going on? Uh, we're venturing into kind of personal territory here, Detective. Fair enough. Just doing my job. Call me when you've got something else. Okay, that is weird. That's... That doesn't sound like a cop talking to a... Superhero, that sounds like... Okay, well, fine. Didn't he, wasn't he just accusing Spider-Man of being a criminal? Maybe that's why he was asking him. I know, but I said as long as things didn't get into personal territory, like, even an estranged dad would kind of, you know, have some concern for his daughter and what she's doing. I don't think that would really be a police question. 
even in, you know, the, what was it, Catch Me If You Can movie, I don't remember really Tom Hanks or Leonardo DiCaprio talking about, like, family. It was just like, I'm gonna go do this con and you come get me, and it was a game, you know? Yeah. I don't see a police officer getting so obsessed with the target that they would invest into every aspect of their life. That would become, like, super obsessive, or... Yeah, but... Uh, if they're becoming a copycat. But he just was asking her about, or him about Black Cat, though. Like, it wasn't really his personal life, it was the fact that he was involved with Black Cat. Hmm. I don't know. There's no way for me to know, I guess. It'll oh, just... there's the next painting. There's no... Here. Wait, that's a church steeple! There. Was a church steeple. Wow, he just ripped a church one, steeple off. Hardy had enough to set himself up for life. I almost feel sorry for him. Probably for the best how it shook out. A dead body? A little kid without a father? Trust me, that's never for the best. It is when the Magia's got a grudge. Hardy's death squared things. If he and his kid just disappeared, the mob never would have stopped gunning for him. He could have turned state's evidence, gotten witness protection. The Magia's got a long reach. Some things you can't come back from. Hey, so according to my records, there's only one more painting missing. I'll let you know when I find it. Okay, this is getting interesting. Well, yeah, I, I like the, the mad, mad world thing. I mean, it would be, as a writer, it would be way too easy to make that be Felicia's dad. But I know. the fact that this is Dan Slot, It would be very interesting if it was a uh, cop on the take. Yeah, I'm starting to have my doubts now. Like, his concern is a little bit too typical of a dad-type figure. Or maybe a partner of Hardy's. I don't know. And I don't even remember the guy telling us that there was this amount of... Wait, where is he? Yeah, it feels like in this Spider-Man game, there's a lot of things that are, like, kind of blatantly obvious. Like, it's almost like it's a story written for Saturday morning cartoon. Like, for little kids so they can understand the plot. But at the same time, it gets pretty adult like the DLC story was. Yeah, I, I mean, know, but, but... Dan Slott is known for sometimes his twists, but also his predict predictability. Mm -hmm. Which is why I don't like him as a Spider-Man writer. Well, the most predictable thing would be like that this guy is Felicia's dad. I mean, I won't care either way. I, I would just see this guy as a terrible father figure for completely um, disappearing. He kind of seemed like uh, Sarah's dad from Chuck in the animated series that I remember. Um, even though he went to jail and stuff like that, he did it to protect his family. And he didn't try to fake his death from what I remember. Because, I mean, it, it's awfully convenient that there's no body that was found. Mm -hmm. Like, originally... They were like, oh, the dude died in prison. It's like, okay, now we're hearing, oh, wait, no, he drowned after escaping prison. But if he was safe in prison from that mob family, why would he try to escape? It, it just, it's too many holes yeah. in the story. It makes sense. Copy. I'm busy looking for art. We'll do free roaming stuff later. We, we still have a, a couple more spider suits to show. Uh... Oops. Okay, that didn't work. But no, I mean, I'm having fun doing this DLC with you. I, I think yeah, that... Yeah, no, it is fun. I'm just... I don't know. There's no way for me to know what's going on with it. Oh, I guess we'll find out after this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have the last one. The Pasture of Heaven. Detective, looks like I found the last stash. Any other leads to track down? No. That's the last piece of Hardy's legacy. I really can't thank you enough, Spider-Man. Glad to help, Detective Mackey. And hey, I think you're right about the new cat. Look out for her, okay? It didn't mean a lot to me. Uh, that was weird. Yes, it that? was. Should call him back and ask him. The number you have dialed is no longer. <laughs> and oh, weirder. Better stop by his precinct. It's a. It's definitely the dad. No way. Yep, it is. Oh, that's so lame. Ah, whatever. Oh, I went to the wrong precinct before. I wanted to get a, a cool picture with the guy, because he has, like, this awesome, like, 
you know, old guy face. He kind of has like a little glint in his eye, like yeah. He has something. He has secrets. You know, there's something to him that. Well, uh, Spider Man. I can just hear JJ now. Spider Man vandalizes uh, New York City, looking for things because he's a deranged lunatic that's either searching for something that doesn't exist or he's looking for stolen loot he's hidden. And he's finally snapped all that swinging from buildings. He's a menace, I tell you, a menace! I hope they do something like that, because that would be hilarious. You know? Mm. I mean, JJ gets yeah. tips that Spider-Man does crazy stuff. Remember when we yeah. vandalized that building? They actually did a podcast yeah. about that. He just ripped off a church steeple. Exactly. I think he should have to pay that church damages because he destroyed their property. Exactly. Oh, great. We're having problems uh, crawling up the building now. Hey, I'm looking for Detective Mackey. Mackey? Ah, doesn't ring a bell. Older guy with a mustache? <laughs> Either you got the wrong precinct, or someone played you. Yeah, someone played me all right. Sergeant Mackey, or do you prefer Walter Hardy? Hey, don't judge me. I did what I had to do. Your daughter thinks you're dead, you know. And let's keep her thinking that. For her sake. Deal. Deal? You just conned me. Why should I do anything for you? Because you're a decent guy. Take care of my little girl. Wow. <sighs> I'm so gullible. Yes, you are, I'm Spidey. <laughs> heartless and cynical like everyone else. Oh, no, he didn't even ask any questions when he was helping that guy out. Nope. He was just like, oh, you say you're a detective? I'll help you out. What's your badge number? What yeah. precinct are you from? Why didn't he check the precinct before he did that? He should have called uh, Yuri and be like, hey, I'm working this case for Detective I Mackey. Know. Spider gullible. Spider gullible. So anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this uh, DLC side mission. We still got the screwball left, and we have to do a bunch of stuff to unlock the Scarlet Spider 2 costume. But in the comment section below, tell us what you thought about this little side mission, and we'll see you with more spider goodness soon. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See ya!